So sometimes we like to go backpacking in August. And sometimes it likes to snow on us a ton. Sometimes some of the employees decide to use tarps. <laughs> hey what's up Obi tribe thanks for joining us today today we are headed on our monthly outdoor vitals team trip we got the team here in the car and we are actually going to go try to bag a peak close to home um so yeah come along with us hopefully this inspires you to get out we're going to be talking about things like why we backpack and why we would want to climb a big peak so join us and we'll catch you at the end of the video I don't even know what expectations I have. I hope the weather's good. My brother actually got me into backpacking as far as like ultralight backpacking, but I would say Boy Scouts is really what got me started in, in camping and back, backpacking. Um, I grew up camping, but never backpacking until Boy Scouts, and that kind of opened my eyes, but it also opened my eyes in a negative way where I was like, this sucks. <laughs> I, I, I like I could see it, but the gear and stuff I had was just horrendous. And so it wasn't until college my brother started getting into ultralight backpacking. I started kind of borrowing some of his gear, and he sort of pointed me in the right direction. Um, and that's really when I fell in love with it. I probably didn't get into backpacking until a little bit later in life, like college. Uh, I grew up outdoors, but really wasn't into backpacking, more car camping, things like that. Um, but I would say just I had a friend of mine that was into it and I, I went with him once or twice and, and enjoyed it and then I decided to start making a, a, an investment so slowly um, building my, my gear and then once I had my gear and I was comfortable with it I really got into it and then moving to southern Utah really helped get into backpacking with all the public lands and things like that where um, living on the East Coast, that's not really a thing. It's not as accessible as it is out here. Uh, I started out just going with my family as a kid, um, and then I kept going with Boy Scouts, and I always enjoyed it. Um, and now through college, I've started doing a lot more, uh, especially since coming to college. So that's kind of where I started. We started backpacking uh, from a young age. My dad always talked about his backpacking trips when he was a boy and uh, that's just what my family did growing up so uh, kind of five years old was our like minimum age to start going so when I was five I started going backpacking with my family. I personally like to summit the peaks because it is really difficult and so like it's it's just hard so we went up I don't know how many thousand feet of elevation almost straight up not on a trail actually because we were summiting a kind of an off uh, an irregular peak but um, I love getting up there and like once you get there that that sense of accomplishment you know just sitting down and just taking in I mean we could see just all of southern Utah and, and just being like man like I can check that off my list um, just a real sense of accomplishment, I guess, is why I like to summit peaks. Uh, peak bagging is not really for me. Um, I do like it once you get to the top, it, it's fun, but um, living at low elevation the majority of my life, I do struggle with um, the elevation climbing so fast. But once you get up there, I do enjoy it. But personally, I'd rather hike longer, flatter than less hiking straight up the side of a mountain. The reason I summit peaks is to, to feel like I conquered something. I like to do it because it's hard. I like to do it because there's a great view at the top and I just feel like I did something that day. Another reason why I go backpacking a lot is to go see cool things that nobody sees and and just to do stuff that, that less people do. I really enjoy it. Um, I like uh, like the high country like that. Um, I like getting above tree line. I like getting off trail and the nice thing about coming up to the mountain tops out here is most of them are not covered with a lot of brush, so it's just grass or rocks. I like the challenge and the accomplishment, just being on top of something and having kind of the feeling of having done that. Really enjoy the views and the, the beauty. Is this my good distance or? Yeah, no, that's okay. good distance. Okay, cool. Coming into this, I thought, oh, this is going to be really pretty scenery. It's going to be a really cool experience but I think that has 
far exceeded my expectations of just how overwhelming this, this all is. What are your overall thoughts on backpacking? Would you do it again? Oh, 100% I would do this again. You can be that guy, or you can be in here. Dave's getting wrecked out there. Look at this. Ow, oh, my fingers! <laughs> oh, that was crazy. All right, so here's a little tip. If you set up your tent in a hurry and you set it up where if you get moisture, you're gonna get a river under your tent, like this. At least dig a hole and get it away from your tent as fast as you can. But better, don't pitch your tent right here. So for those of you that don't know, our tents have bathtub floors, so you can let rivers just run right underneath them. But also, <clears throat> it makes it nice because you can just fill your water up from these rivers right from your tent. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this uh, vlog of our monthly Outer Vitals employee trip. Um, hopefully we inspire you with these trips. That's really the purpose and, and the reason that we're doing these. Uh, but we're trying to improve them as well. So if you guys have comments on things we could do or things you want to see, let us know. But um, coming up on the end of summer, hopefully you guys are getting out there and enjoying this. It's a shame if uh, you're not, because it's beautiful out here.